19th of December 2018, Wednesday. This is a seven years old female sterilized domestic short hair. Okay, the, the main, the presenting sign, we call it presenting sign, means the main sign actually is yellowing of the ears. You can see, suggesting of jaundice, the yellowing. Huh? Now the ears are very dirty, you didn't clean the ears. Right? No. And then the other part which will be yellow is the third eyelid, you can see very clearly. The third eyelid is really yellow. Huh? So, in this case, this cat has joined this. Now, the cat came in about two days ago, and we can see that uh, the blood test shows the enzymes, huh? the liver enzymes. The liver enzymes are much increased. As you can see, the ALT is 677, about three times the normal, and the AST is uh, 365. It's about five times, uh, five times higher than normal. So the blood test with the ele elevated liver enzyme shows that there's a liver disorder. Now, what is the cause of it? What's the cause of this liver disorder? It's very hard to tell. Unless further tests are done. Now the thing is, this case is quite overweight here, as you can see. Yeah? Now one of the causes, of course, is the fatty liver due to uh, being overweight. And uh, with fatty liver, the enzymes go up. Now, of course, you say the other cat had run away and then developed fatty liver disease. Right? Due to starvation, that is possible as well. But in this case, now, according to the owner, the cat was already vomiting before change of diet, right? How, many, right. how long before? Because vomiting is a sign of liver mm -hmm. disease, kidney disease. Huh? When, mm -hmm. when was the vomiting? Before the change of the dried cat food and the canned food as well, right? I remember. Is it one month before? No, not. Hmm? not a week or two. But definitely there was vomiting, right? You can yeah. see yellowing. Huh? So, the another possibility, of course, the liver could have been uh, damaged by toxins. Huh? Now, this cat goes out. Huh? She goes out to the garden. Uh, so, sometimes the cat goes out and, and might have uh, gone hunting lizards, something which is toxic to the liver. Or the cat might have stepped on something, some chemicals, huh? and then she cleans herself, and uh, the poison goes into the liver especially chemicals. So if this, this is the case, then of course, the recovery depends on how badly damaged the liver is. Now, according to the enzymes, liver enzymes, which, which have gone up a lot, this shows that the liver damage is quite severe. So now, the cat was given some feline ID, but she vomited out all the food. Now today, there's no, no fever. The, the first visit, she came two days ago, there was slight fever. Now, presenting sign is actually vomiting, lethargy, and uh, in, in this case, the cat has no thirst and no uh, uh, plenty, no urination. So, now what we do now is we have to give the cat a drip first, and then we will observe for the next two or three days. Now, if this color, this yellow color, this coloration uh, gets worse, means getting more darker, more yellowish, the chances are very slim. But if the cat does recover from the IV drips or the subcutaneous drips, and the coloration goes off or decreases over the next one week, chances are good that she will recover. Now, changing of diet should not be done on cats that are quite uh, overweight because sometimes it affects the liver. So that is one of the reasons. Come we turn upside down and see? See below? Now, sometimes they didn't see yellowing of the skin as well, but in this case, it's not so obvious. Huh? Not so obvious. Can see? Huh? Hmm. This is yellowing. Huh? Yeah. Did your shave what? Did your shave away the skin, the hair? No, she lost her hair when she got sterilized. Huh? Mm. 
Okay, so we'll both, we will observe for the next few days. Okay. And, uh, so the chances are not good, you know, because the anxiety are very high.